Hey guys, it's Matt from TotalMTG here, and today we are going to crack open a Shadows of Innistrad booster box. It's Pro Tour Shadows over Innistrad weekend. Been watching all the gameplay today, and my box has just arrived. So let's not hang around. Let's crack it, and let's hope we pull some lovely money cards. Uh, I think the most expensive card in the set at the moment is Sorin, so I would definitely wouldn't mind another one of them. I've got one at the moment, but I wouldn't mind another one. Um, for me personally, I'd like to pull the Jace, just because I love Jace Planeswalkers. That'd be pretty sweet. So here we go. Let's go through these commons and get to where the money's at. So we go to our first uncommon. It is a Call the Bloodline. Uh, Weird in Wood. Spite motives, spiteful motives, and our first rare. Oh, we start off with a cracking mythic. I think it's one of our um, subscribers, uh, Taylor. His favourite art is in this card, and that's not a bad way to start. Starting with a relentless dead. So we are off to a good start, guys. Straight in the money. Straight in the money. That's what we like. So let's go through the commons, we're through these. Get to oh, we've got two rares, we've got a flip rare in this one, we've got a handwear militia captain, very nice in the white human decks at the moment. Uh, evasive surgery, veteran kahar, gibberin fiend, and our next rare is Sin Prada. Uh, cost two and a red, it's a three-two with menace, little devil. Um, we've got a lot of text in it. At the beginning of your upkeep, reveal the top card of your library. Any opponent may have that card put in your graveyard. If it does, Sinned Prodder deals damage to that player equal to its coveted cross. If not, put that card into your hand. So, yeah. Nice little double rare pack there. So, on to the next pack. We want some walkers. Come on. So, here we go. So, we start off with the uncommons. Whiz through these. No double rare this time, I don't think. So we have a reckless uh, breakneck rider. The here is Machinations, Briarbridge Patrol, in a struggle. And we have a Downyard Temple. So Downyard Temple can tap for one colours. You can pay three, return Downyard Temple from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. So that's not too bad. Clearly going to. Butcher these card names today. Can't get my tongue out right. So here we go. On to the next one. So we have a Stallions of Ashmouth. Get through. Clip Wings. I like that card. Been using that in the sideboard in some of my decks already. So an uncommon is a Cursed Witch. Uh, Liliana's Indignation. Fleeting Memories. Tooth Collector, that's an interesting way. Nice little art there as well on that one. I quite like the art on that one. And we get a Nathalia Moondrake. Cost seven, so maybe EDH. <laughs> uh, enters the battlefield, target creature gains flying until end of turn. For six, you can exile it from your graveyard. Creatures you control gain flyers. That's not a bad little effect there. And we get a Foil Island. Not quite as nice as the... Full art foils, shall we say? So we put the forget to put the red there as well. So let's get on to our next pack. So we started off well. Hopefully it go back up. We've gradually gone downhill at the moment, so we get through these commons. Here we go. So on to the young commons. We have Hermit of the Natanold. What a name that is. Reaper of Flight Moon Silver. Creeping Dead, Sinister Concoction, and a rare, oh lovely, we get a Choked Estuary, that's my colours, black and blue. Um, as it enters the battlefield, we may reveal an island or swamp card from your hand, and if um, Choked Estuary enters the battlefield, tapped, if you don't, so. Taps for black and blue. Glad to get one of those lands. I do like those lands. I want to pull some Port Towns as well, I've only got one in my collection at the moment, Port Town, which I traded for the other day. And the Port Towns have gone up to, well, on the site that I got this booster box for, they're about seven or eight pounds. So, 
that's quite expensive. So let's get through these, get to some uncommons. Here we go. Town Gossip Monger, seen that in play today, and the Mono White Humans. Compelling Deterrence, Griff Spoon, great card. I've uh, been playing with that in MTGO Online. If you've seen my um, Mono White Humans on a bit of a budget, been playing that. A Runaway Carriage, and we get all oh, nice card to the slaughter. Good for the control players. Target player, sacrifice a creature or player if it has a delirium. Um, you can then make them sacrifice a creature and a planeswalker, which is pretty sweet. So, let's get on to another pack. Still no planeswalker, but plenty of packs to go yet. So, here we go, on to the next one. Get through these commons. So you have to let me know in the comments, guys, how good your boxes have been. Winning wood, geese blast, and the rare is another mythic. It's Gerald's masterpiece. Um, it's a flyer for three, five, a seven, seven flyer. It gets minus one, one for each card in your hand, and you can discard three cards, return it to uh, from the graveyard to the battlefield. Tap. So yeah, it's a pretty sweet card. Might have a few minuses on it if you've got a lot of cards. Have to see what type of build that would be in. Can't see it really fit in a control sort of build because the idea normally is that you try and keep all the cards in your hand. Play those lovely counter spells. <laughs> so we get through these. Oh, we get to the Arlen. We don't mind an Arlen Corb mythic there, do we guys? I nearly went past that one in the middle of all the commons there. So yes, we get a lovely planeswalker. The first one, Arlene Embraced by the Moon. So I think that, you know, that's, that's a, a pretty good money card there, definitely. Um, don't know what they come in at. What does Arlene come in at? Probably about £25, so maybe about, I don't know, $50, $45. So that is a cracking card, and our third mythic already. <clears throat> so let's go to the rest of the pack. We had a Silver Strike. Crawling Sensation, that one that I wasn't going to pronounce, and we get a Corrupted Graphstone as well. So, Arlen and Corrupted Graphstone in that, that was a very good pack there. So, definitely so far, you know, the box is near enough paid for itself. With those, you know, those two cards is like £40. Got the box for 70 so, you know, with the others added in, we've had a very good start with absolutely loads of boosters still to go. So that was an uncommon there, uninvited guest, one of the flip cards. Look at the art on that one, lovely, loads of hands. Uh, Gloom Widow, Ravenous Bloodseeker, and our rare, here we go, oh, we've got another Sim Prodder. So it looks like we're going to be making a Sim Prodder deck, guys, that's for sure. Got one in, and a Foil Intrepid Provisioner. Ooh, shiny, shiny. So, on to the next pack. Trying to go through the commons and commons as quickly as I can because I want to make you know I don't want it a massive long video if I can't. Right, let's go through these. Gonna have to look at these now. Loam dried, seen that in play today, strangely enough. Right, so we go to Not Forgotten, Erdwar Illuminator, Epitaph Golem, and our rare is Dirigath Colossus. Zombie Giant, 2-2 two, two for 2 and a black. Enters the battlefield with a 1-1 one, one counter for each zombie card in your graveyard. So, perfect for a zombie deck. When you cast a zombie spell, put a 2-2 two, two black zombie into play tapped. And we get another foil. Foil, just the wind. So, that looks quite a good card to build around if you want to make a nice little zombie deck. So, let's go on to the next pack. Can we get another Planeswalker? We've had one bit of luck. We've got a bit of luck. We did get one Planeswalker, so we're not going to, you know, beggars can't be choosers, but we've got a nice one there. On to the Uncommons. Arise from the Tides. Topple Geast. Forsaken Sanctuary. And we get another Mythic. Mind Rack Demon. So I think that's our fourth Mythic already. Um, it's a 4-5 Flying Trample. When it enters the battle, put the top four cards into your library. Um, if you don't have Delirium, uh, beginning of your upkeep, you lose four life. So, yeah, definitely a situational card there. Could be amazing. Could be really bad. I remember putting one of them in my pre-release. 
and basically in one game it killed me. I did a mill, I had other mill cards in hand, but it still managed to kill me down. So yep, maybe I shouldn't have played it in draft, but it was such a big beat that I wanted to put it in. And it was just a bit of fun anyway. So right, we're gonna go on to the uncommons. We've got Aberrant Researcher, uh, Morkup Necropy, Essence Flux, Epitaph Golem, and our rare is Confirmed Suspicions. Counter target spell for five, but it lets you investigate three times. So the investigate is when you put a clue down, you pay two and sacrifice to draw a card. So quite expensive counter spell. Um, probably won't see play, I wouldn't have thought, but you know, it's a it's a good card to put in your EDH deck. You know, counter spells are not obviously very well liked in, in EDH, but you know, that's quite a good one. It does cost you five. But like I said, it's going to give you three opportunities potentially to draw cards, which is pretty sweet. So we're going to go to the uncommons. We got Dusk Watch Recruiter, uh, Near Heath Chaplin, Briarbridge Patrol, Dissension in the Ranks, and the rare Asylum Visitor. So it costs two, and it's a three-one Vampire Wizard. Beginning of each player's upkeep. If that player has no cards in hand, you draw a card and you lose one life, and you can play it for its madness cost as well. And we've got a foil, Ghoulstee. See, that's a nice foil. Look at that. Look at the eye shining on Ghoulstee there. Look at that. Nice card. Got lovely art in this um, in this set. So, what's your favourite art, guys, on your on your cards? Taylor, I know yours is Relentless Dead. Everyone else, what do you like? So, here we go. Let's go through the commons again. So, we're going to get through them. Here's some uncommons here. So we'll have a look at these. Kindly Stranger. Behind the scenes, creatures you control have Skulk. Pretty good there. Played that in draft in the in pre-release. Colf of the Waxing Moon. A Mad Prophet. And he does look rather mad. And our rare is Invocation of Saint Traft. So not exactly the Saint Traft at all. Uh, enchant creature, when an, uh, enchant this creature attacks, you put a 4 4 angel total down, tapped and attacking, exile at the end of combat. So, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not too bad a card, but you know, it's not it's not brilliant card, I wouldn't say. We do get another foil, broken concentration. So, that's a nice little foil there. Put our invocation there. Yeah, when I initially saw that card, I pulled it in pre release and I was like, oh, it looks amazing. But. You know, when you sit down and see it, you probably see it's not going to see play. I wouldn't have thought. Good in draft, if you can equip it with something. Um, so let's get through these. And so get to Uncommons. We have a Village Messenger. I've seen a lot of play on that online already. Broken Concentration. Humble the Brute. Murder's Axe. And the Rare is Burned from Within. Uh, Expel deals X damage to target creature or player. If the creature is dealt damage this way, it loses indestructible until end of turn. If that creature would die, exile it instead. So yeah. Oh, we get another foil. And it's a foil sim product. So this sim product deck is looking like it's going to be made, guys. Because um, this booster box loves sim products. And so now we've got a nice foil one as well. So that would be quite nice. Foil one's coming in at about £15. So I mean... You know, on, on the just looking on the computer now. On the site, obviously, just looking at the site that I got the cards from, the booster box from. But fifteen pounds, you know, we're there with the money already. Definitely made money on this, you know, booster box already. We're plenty. Out. I like that dead weight card. Really good early early removal. Um, here we go. Fiery temper, another good card. Oh, here we go. We got double rare pack. So we've got another Hamweir Militia Captain, which is the one that flips. When it flips, um, its power and toughness are equal to the number of creatures you grow, and you get to put a cleric down as well each turn. So we go Stitchwind Scab, Old World Mysteries, Bush is that one, Stencia Masquerade, and our other rare is Tamio's Journal. Um, beginning of your upkeep, you get to investigate. Um, sacrifice three clues, search your library for a card, and put it in your hand. I mean... Cost five, but you know, it looks but excellent EDH card to me. EDH written all over it. So, not sure how many packs we've got left. 
but we got a few. I can still see a few piles there. So here we go. Let's get through these. Try and speed up a bit for you guys. I'm just trying to look at the cards because a lot of the cards are new to me in the set. So we're gonna looks like we've got a double rare pack again. Siege of the Ancient Law. Um, power and toughness is equal to the number of cards in your hand. Uh, when it enters the battle, draw a card as well. If no spells returned, you get to flip it into a big vigilance trample werewolf. So that's pretty sweet. So we have a trial of evidence. Tooth collector, and our other rare is a Markov Dreadnought. Cost five, three, three, flying. Uh, discard a card, put two counters on it. So yeah, pretty sweet. Bit of a bog standard rare for me. But here we go, on to another pack. Loads of packs. Love cracking packs, guys. Love cracking packs. Right, let's whip through these. Have we got a little rare sitting in there? No, not this time. So we have Linear's Indignation, Crawling Sensation, Dance with the Devils, and the rare is Angel of Deliverance. Big 6-6 six, six Angel does cost 8, though. When Angel of Deliverance deals damage, if there are four or more card types among you, Exile Target Creature in Opponent's Control. So, yep. Yeah. Won't be putting that in my decks, maybe in the Angel EDH deck that I'm going to build. Building one around Geese Saint Traft. So, any ideas for Geese Saint Traft EDH decks, let me know in the comments. Thraben Inspector, been playing that a lot online in the White Humans, love that card. Have some minish, mish, Missionaries, Spectral Shepherd, Howl Pack Resurgence, Gibbering, that's what I'm doing today, Gibbering Fiend, and our rare is always oh, another Mythic. That's five Mythics. And this is a 4-9 Angel for 4. If a source would deal damage to you, it deals double that damage instead. If a source would deal damage to Golan, it deals double that damage instead. But you do get a 4-9 for 4. So, you know, and we got a foil. Oh, foil swamp. But, you know, that's a pretty sweet card. It's got sweet text on it. It's got fun. You know, it's quite a fun card. Strange figures being a 4-9. Obviously to keep it around and keep doing your double damage, but you know, that's our fifth mythic. So we ain't gonna complain about that, guys. That's for sure. So on to the uncommons. We have Olivia's Bloodsworn, Reckless Scholar, Haunted Cloak, and we have a Flame Blade Angel. So lots of angels. Four, four for six. Uh, when a source and opponent controls damage to you and permanent control, you may have Flame Build Angel deal one damage to that source's controller. And a nice little mountain to go with it. So, still a few packs in there to go, yeah. Still looking for that lovely Jace. Not that I'm complaining about this box so far. This box has been pretty goddamn good. So, here we go. Skin Invasion. Broken Concentration. Humble the Brute. Woodland Stream, and our rare is, our oh, nice, one of the lands. Um, game Trail, it's one of the attacks for the green and the red. Uh, you may reveal a mountain of forest guard from your hand. If you don't, it comes in tapped. So they're the new lands in this set. They're pretty cool. Like I said, I think Port Town, the blue white one at the moment, is the most expensive one. The other's around £3.54. That one's going for about 7 or 8 Port Town, so... Get them early. Probably missed the boat by now, we have though. So we go on to this. Great um, drafting card, this Air of Falcon Wrath. Come on, incredible use and a rare. Oh, we get another Markov Dreadnought, Dread Knight. It's the Flu 3 Flyer, discard a card, put counters on. And we get a Foil Arborant Resurger. So, yeah, nice little artwork on there. And a flip card, just have a quick look at that. That's very nice art there. There we go. On to the packs. More packs. Right, on to the uncommons. There we go. Hermit of Nationals, good name that one. Nithin Chaplin, Moonlit Hunt, a Geese Blast, and our rare is oh, the Airy Interlude. Uh, exile the number of target creatures you control, return those cards to the battle under the owner's control at the beginning of the next sensitive. So, not an expensive card, but I do like that card. I think it's very interesting, eerie interlude. So, what decks are you making with the new shadows out, guys? Now we've rotated. What are your favourite decks at the moment? Um, 
any decks you'd like to see on the channel um, involving new cards, let us know if I can make them. You know, I've not got a vast range of this set yet, but we are building up. Oh, pile of cards falling down there. So, get to the uncommons. Neglected Heirloom, Gisses Bidding, Peer Over the Pages, Wildfire Sterile, and a rare is another Burn Within. I've got a few of Burn Within's already. I don't need any more. What I need is either a fourth Sim Prod would be nice, preferably foil, just so we can, you know, build a deck around it. Maybe we only need three. We'll have to see. Right, so get to Uncommons. Open the Armoury. Obsessive Skinner. Dissension in the ranks. And our rare is Altered Ego. So of course it's an X spell to green and blue. Can't be countered. You may have Altered Ego. Enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield except it enters with X additional um, counters. That looks pretty sweet. And that looks mental in EDH, without a doubt. I am pretty good in standard, I reckon. You maybe see it standard. I don't know. Looks a pretty fun card. Probably see it in one of my silly builds, that's for sure. One of my crazy brews. So we have a Dustwatch Recruiter, a Biting Rain, a Manic Scribe, Sinister Concoction, and our rare is Drog Skull Cavalry. Um, great for um, in the drafts, but not you know not brilliant in constructive play. Limited drafts, yeah. It's a nice little bomb, but so we need to pick up with a couple of good cards here, guys. We've had quite a good box already. Definitely made the money, but we want more. Come on! So here we go. Pious Evangel, uh, Griff Spoon. Glad I got another one of them. Pat Guardian, Dance with the Devils, and a rare. Ooh, Travis of the Ulmwald, Ulmwald. Search your life for a basic land card, reveal it, put it in your hand. If you've got Delirium, you can search for a creature card or land. So very sweet card, Travers of the Elven World. Very sweet card, nice rare that one. So, how many packs do we have left? We have five. Nine, we've still got nine packs left, guys. So, here we go. The countdown of the last few packs. So... Boom, enter the commons. Get through the commons. Not a nice little planeswalker sitting in the middle again, but we have got a Gear Reach a Bandit in the middle there. Werewolf 3 2 flip cards, got a haste, and it flips into a Vildin Pack Alpha. So, yeah, pretty sweet art on that one. That would be a nice enough foil, that one. Uncommons, Hope Against Hope, Stone Quarry, and we get a Scourge Wolf. This was my. Um, promo card that I got on pre-release. Um, first strike, double uh, double red, two two. First strike, wolf has double strike as long as there are four more cards, different cards. There's the delirium card. Not bad, two two. First strike. It gets double strike. That's pretty sweet as well. So here we go. B. So the Planeswalker was probably the best flip card you could get in the middle of your packs, without a doubt. So we're very lucky to get that one. So let's go to our rare. What have we got? Oh, I like this card. Deathcap Cultivator. Um, it's 2 1 for 2. Adds black and green to your manable when you tap it. Um, gets Death Touch if you've got Delirium. So, uh, yeah, pretty sweet card. Seen a bit of play with that today. I think it was used in the green black aristocrats deck that I saw. Um, Louis Scott Vargas playing, I think it was, on camera. So, yeah, that, that looked interesting. So, maybe have to make that one. So, any nice little flip rare? No! So, we get a Daring Sleuth. Bound by a Moon Sliver. We get a Highland Lake. And we get the fun card of the deck. Try. Now, let's try and say this one. Triskai Decaphobia. I think that's about right. Didn't bitter it too much. Um, beginning of your upkeep, you choose one. Each player, uh, each player with exactly 13 life loses the game. Then each player gains one life. Each player with exactly 13 life loses the game. Then each player loses one life. And what's interesting about this card that I found out from one of my friends, Damon saw, is that everything on there, there's 13 of. So like 13 logs, 13 there, 13 bricks round, 13 everything. So yeah, absolutely hilarious card, that one. 
great artwork. You know, great flavour on it. Puts a bit of fun into the magic. So, here we go. Do we get a flip? No flip. Into the uncommon. So, we have Pick the Brain. What the artwork on that is brilliant. We'll mine a four one of them. Magnifying glass. And we get a rattle chains. Two one for two, flash flying. When it enters the battlefield, target spirit gains hex until until end of turn. So that will be going into my um, Geese of St. Trav EDH deck. It's a pretty sweet card. It's a spirit, it's blue, and can give stuff hexproof. That's what we like. So getting down the packs to getting down the packs. Here we go. Catalog. Have uh, we got a flip? No, no. Oh, we guess we get a flip thing in ice. Absolutely brilliant card. Uh, 04, Defender, um, thing in ice, en uh, enters the battlefield with four ice counters. When you cast into Sorry, remove one. Then when it has none, you transform it into this beast. Awoken Horror, it's a 7 8. Uh, when it transforms, return all non horror creatures to their owner's hands. So, ye brilliant card, that one. And our rare... Oh, we yeah, get another one. So we've got the colours for the for the deck as well. We get a Cho Destry. So that is pretty sweet pack, that one. Really like thing. And that was one of the cards I was most looking forward to. Apart from the Jays. Four packs to get a Jays. Come on, here we go. Right. Have we got a flip? Have we got a flip? No. So we got a Lambold Pacifist. Hope against hope, compelling deterrence, skeleton key, and oh, we get Falcon, Falcon Wrath Gorger, Vampire Berserker. It's two one for one, which is pretty cool. Each vampire card you own that is on the battlefield um, has madness. The madness cost is equal to its mana cost. So yeah, pretty sweet for the old speedy red decks, maybe. So down to the final three packs. Here we go. Boom, boom. Right. On to the uncommons. Tenacity, Graf Mole. And our rare is... Oh, Diagraph Colossus. The zombie giant that gets counters and you can put two, two zombies into play. So, guys, down to the final two packs. Let's see what we pull. Right, we'd like a nice flip Arlen in the middle or another thing in ice, that'd be very nice, but we haven't got one. Here we go, Autumnal Gloom, uh, Reaper of Flight Moon Zero, Groundskeeper, Lightning Axe, I think that's my first Lightning Axe. And our rare is, oh, we get another To the Slaughter. Um, it's the one where you talk about sacrifice creature planes, Walker, and if it's Delirium, they sacrifice both if they have them. So guys, it's the final pack. Final pack of the booster box. I think the booster box has been pretty sweet. Let me know what you think. I think the booster box has, you know, given us some nice cards. Right, here we go. So, down to the final ones. We have a Harvest Hand. Power Rider of Trostad. Trial of Evidence. Foul Orchid. And the final rare is a Tireless Tracker. Whenever a uh, land in battlefield under your control, investigate. So I think this is quite a bit of a money card. Probably trading at about eight, nine pounds. So yeah, probably about twelve, twelve dollars, something like that. Um, yes, Brit. Whenever you sacrifice a clue, put a one-one counter on it. So it's already a three-two for two uh, for three. So yeah, that's a pretty sweet card to end with. Right, guys. So that was the booster box. I hope you enjoyed the video of our, um, opening all those lovely packs, seeing what I pulled. Because um, you'll see the cards in versus matches very soon, probably. Um, but we pulled some very nice cards. They definitely made money on the, on the on the booster box. Relentless Dead's worth nice. Arlen Core probably the second most expensive card in the set behind Archangel. Um, pulled you know Tireless Trackers, another good card. The Foil Sim Prod is worth fifteen pound, which is nice. Thing in nice has dropped down a bit, but still a very nice card. Um, but yeah, all in all, I'm quite happy with that. Choke Testery, nice card. Um, yeah, we did pull some lovely cards there. Try Sticker Dave with a very funny card. Death Cat Cultivator, I like. Um, Altered Ego seems like a very interesting, fun card to build around. We've got some other lands as well. Game Trail. Got plenty of Sim Prodders, that's for sure. <laughs> so, and a Mind Rack Demon. So, I think all in all, we got about 
was it five? Five mythics, maybe? Maybe more? I don't know, five or six? Definitely five, anyway. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. Cheers, guys.